is Susie and welcome back to the channel. Um, I am going to be working on another one of um, those uh, Somerset inspired journals that I called the five. So what I thought I would do is just work about 20 to 25 minutes um, each day until I get it done. So um, I'm going to set actually the timer on my phone because I don't want to run over 25 minutes. And, um, and so anyway, um, what I'm going to start with is I'm going to just start getting the pieces ready that I need. And uh, the, the last thing we'll do is begin to uh, put the binding together and then start laying out um, different things uh, on our pages. So I am going to insert a photo of the five journals. I will also put a link in the description box if you want to go over and watch that video so that you kind of have an idea uh, of what I'm talking about if you didn't get to see that. And uh, anyway, with that, I'm going to go ahead and get the, uh, the timer set here. And of course, my uh, editing will probably cut it down to a little bit less than 25 minutes, but... I just think that's the better length of a video. It's easier to upload when they're that size. So uh, anyway, so I think what I'm going to start with is I want to stamp uh, my fabric here. So that is the first thing I'm going to do. I want to, let's see. I have a really long piece here. And this is what I'm going to actually tear down and uh, make for the, uh, the binding. So, putting the pages together. Uh, this is about three inches long. This here is, this is about three and a half. So, is what I've got this. And I just have a big stamp that I'm going to be using to uh, stamp it with. And let me find my block here because I do want to use my, my block. I know a lot of times people don't use the block, but I do like to use the block. It just helps me to give it a little harder, a little firmer press. Now, I think this one, instead of doing it in brown, I am actually going to stamp it in black this time. So that's what I'm going to do. And what I'm going to do is just ink up this ink up this stamp real good okay so I'm just gonna give it a and I've actually got it going upside down to the to the thing I just want to make sure that I get it upside down again so I think my ink pad could have been a uh, a better one. I should have got a, a newer one out or a new one out. Okay, so I want to make sure I'm just going upside down here. So I'm just going to... Okay. And it looks like both of these are light right here where this party is. I don't know why, but it's not that important. It'll be fine going on the little grungy thing anyway so all right so there is going to be that piece and I wanted to do one more piece just in case um, I didn't have enough so okay so I'm gonna do this piece right here All right, so that is good. Then what I want to do with it is I think I'm going to tear them. Let's see, this was about three and a half. Uh, let's see how. Probably I'll measure it once I. No, let's just do that. Okay, so I've got them about a about a three inch seven eight nine yeah three inches 
So that one there will be just a little less than three, but it'll be okay. I'm not going to throw it away. I'll use it at the end. Okay, so I'm just going to take and... Let's see. There will be one. Two. Yeah, I may have to stamp a few more. I don't know that this will be enough, so. If it'll give me one, two, three, four, five, and six. So that may be enough, because uh, that will be about 12, 12 uh, pages together. So we'll, if we need more, we'll, we'll come in and do it at the end, so. Okay, so there will be that, and then I want to stamp these two here, and I think I'm going to get a, a better black stamp pad here. Let's just get a new one. I think that one's about, about used up anyway, so, and we're going to do the flowers in black as well, instead of the brown. Let's see, I think I'm going to go with this. I want the two biggest ones. Okay. And we're just going to stamp it on there. Oh, that didn't come out at all. Oh, I wonder if it's this mat here is what's doing it. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure if that's that's what it is. It's not pressing hard enough on this because that really should have taken to it. Let me see if I can do it again. See if I can kind of get it in the same spot. Nope. Okay, so that definitely we're going to have to find a better... Let me grab uh, something that's more sturdy than this paper and see if I can't get that to press harder on that fab. Okay, so what I had to do is I did went ahead and stamped these. I had to dig out my glass mat and I'm going to put it away because um, I don't want the glare off of it and I don't want the smaller space to have to work off of to cover it. So, Because usually I have to cover it in this uh, deli paper. So, but that did help getting a firmer doing it on this um, fabric. So there's that. So I just did a couple of um, the fabric and then uh, the destination. And then if I find I need anything else when we're working, we'll just go ahead and, uh, you know, stamp something else. So we're going to leave it at that. All right. So now, let me get rid of my glass mat here. Okay, so we got that put out of the way. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to work on these pictures. And I've just grabbed a few. I'm really not certain how many we will use, so I'm going to just cover... Just going to cover several of them. I'll use them in something else if I don't anyway. So don't use them in this project. So what I have is I have my tissue paper here. Uh, pattern, pattern tissue uh, paper. This is off a of vintage. Um, just a vintage pattern. And you can pick these up if you're near a thrift store or a... Uh, uh, antique store you can usually pick these up for a little bit of nothing so or I don't know eBay probably sells them I haven't looked on eBay but uh, anyway so what I'm going to do is just kind of open this up and I am going to be using my uh, uh, Liquitex medium is what I'm going to be doing. Um, it's the pouring medium. So let me get a paintbrush here. 
After I wash them, I like to give them a nice little pound to just kind of get them loosened up. Okay. So. Let's just start with. Uh, let's see. I'll probably go ahead and use this a little bit for my liquid fix. Since I already have a piece of it here. What I usually do is I just, doesn't take a lot, but you want it to be generous anyway. You know, you want to be a little generous with it to get it nice and, and, and stuck. Oops. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is, and if you're not using the Liquitex, um, you can use, of course, your Mosh Posh or your Collage Posh. And what I want to do is I'm just going to stick this down and I'm just going to kind of go in a, uh, do me a couple. Um, maybe here, let's cut us a piece off. And I don't want to get it in, uh, not my photos, I don't want to get it in my black lines. Now you probably would be fine to do that, but but that's just something I don't I don't want to do on oops on this so so I'm gonna just put it on this one. And these of course are just the Tim Holtz snapshots. That's what these are. So they're a little heavy, uh, almost a heavy um, cardstock-like photo there. Okay, so I'm just going to, and it looks like I can get probably one more. So let's just, I wonder if I can get the big, yeah, I think I can. So I'm going to get one of the big ones on here. Just kind of brushing it evenly over the photo. on here. Alright, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over okay, and I'm just going to kind of see that's not too stuck there. Okay, just kind of pat it. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the top of them. So I'm just going to push or uh, press a little Liquitex on all three of them. And we're just going to age these photos up. And I'm not worried about it having any kind of wrinkles in it. I'm okay with that. Right here where the crease is, I can see it's going to have a little bit of a wrinkle. And that's just fine. And if you see any corners coming off, just kind of go underneath and touch it up. Okay. So I'm going to have to let those dry. And... Uh, We'll have to find a place to set those to dry on us. And we're going to work on the other ones here. Okay. Let's grab our tissue. Turn it around to the bigger, the wider side there. Okay, we're just going to do the same thing. Okay. Just going to flip it over here. I'm going to go ahead and. Okay. All right. 
All right. So I'm I'm working over here. Okay. We'll just ink that up where that's come off. We won't worry about it too much. All right. So we are going to let this dry as well. Find me a, a place to get it to dry. All right, I'm going to get this moved real quick. Okay, so next we'll be working on the um, booklets. So I know that I will have two booklets, at least two booklets in this. So let's, and I did, this here is some just where I had been tea dyeing and coffee dyeing some pieces. It's just the, um, oh, what do you want to call that? Uh, freezer paper. This is freezer paper. So what I thought I might do is use this in that journal somewhere because it's so nice and grungy. Um, I don't know, I might even make might even make my booklet out of out of the front of it and just leave the freezer paper for the back. Yeah, I'm just unsure. But I grabbed it. I didn't want to throw it away just in case it was so grungy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just take a few a few pieces here. Let's see. I'm going to grab these kind of grungy these are just kind of some sheets that I wouldn't normally use, but because they're so grunged, I uh, think that I'm gonna I'm gonna use them. I'm not really t worried about how big that my uh, uh, or how wide my uh, book is um, if it sticks out. I didn't worry about it on the other one, so we're just gonna kind of. Get these, and I'm, I don't know, I'm probably going to do, what have I got, one, two, three, four, I'll do five, and we may, if I use the freezer paper, we may put this on the back side of some of that, so I'll, I'll just kind of say, lay that over. Okay, so uh, my book, though, I know I don't want it any longer. You know, I, I wanted at least seven and a fourth. Okay, I want it to at least be seven and a fourth. And I am going to be tearing. So uh, I am going to be tearing the pages because I do want it um, kind of just torn. We want it to just be torn. So I'm going to tear. I know I want at least seven and a fourth. Okay. So what I'll probably do is, um, let me mark this one. But I may just use the cutter to cut it off and then know that I'm in about where I need to be. Okay. And then, of course, we want to. We just want them torn and messy. And I'm going to save. I'm actually going to save these because I may just put some of them in in the uh, book there. So, so what we're going to do is we're gonna tear some of this off. Okay. Just kind of... There's no sense in getting the cutter up here when we can just measure it off the other one. But we'll have to make two of these. Okay, so we're down to about two minutes here, two and a half minutes. So we'll probably get this tore down and I'll probably tear, I'll just tear the other one down and have it ready in the, in the next video. Let's see. Now this one here, I'll even leave a straight side on it. But I can use these little, these little bits here in there. So, you 
yeah okay so what it'll end up being is kind of kind of maybe like this we'll put a light sheet in there somewhere kind of guess it where to tear it yeah we'll put a light sheet in there let's see yeah and anyway I think that'll be a probably a thick enough book and I will do my other one about the same amount of uh, pages one two three four five six so I'll tear six and half of them and and I will do that. Okay, guys, so I'm going to uh, call it quits for this one, and uh, we'll pick it up in, uh, uh, in day two of the, uh, the five journal. So 